Automations are available for all pro and business users in MeisterTask. By automating steps in your workflow, you'll not only work more efficiently and consistently, but also avoid mistakes and oversights. Let's take a look at a few different scenarios that lend themselves to being automated. This is a project that functions as an editorial calendar for our company blog. New article ideas are added as tasks in the section to the left, then move through the individual sections until they're completed. The first automation I want to show you involves checklists. The creation of a blog post pretty much always follows the same steps, so it made sense that we created a checklist for it and save this checklist for reuse. Now I could load this checklist into all my tasks manually, but then again, why would I waste the time if I could automate this step? Instead, I'm going to click into the header of the section here and select Add Automation. In the Automation menu, I'm going to pick Add Checklist. Now I can select the predefined checklist I want to add to my tasks and click Done. That's it. Now my checklist will automatically be added to all tasks that come through the selected section. Next, let's take a look at the In Review section. Each article needs to be reviewed by our editor, Zoe, before being published, so this is another great opportunity to create an automation. This time, I'm going to choose the option Assign Task. Now, all I have to do is select Zoe as the assignee. If I want to, I can also run this action on the tasks that are already located in the section. Let's give it a try. Another simple but handy automation is the status change, and this is most commonly used for the Done section in projects. In this case, you can choose between automatically opening, completing, or completing and archiving tasks. Now, MeisterTask will automatically complete all tasks moved into my Done section. All automations we've looked at so far were section automations, meaning that they are applied to the entire section in your project and all tasks that come through it. However, there is one automation that's different, and that's recurring tasks. This automation isn't applied to a whole section, but to one individual task. So if there's a task you need to do on a recurring basis, you first need to create the task template. On our blog, we want to post a monthly roundup of the best productivity tips we can find. Aside from the task title, I can also add a description, assign the task, add tags, and set a due date. Since this task will appear once a month, I can't set an exact date. Instead, I can indicate how soon the task should become due after it appears in the project board. Once my template is created, I can choose which section the task should appear in and then configure the repetition cycle. And that's it. From now on, the task will automatically appear in my project once a month, and then I'll be able to work on it and complete it just like any other task. By the way, if you've already created a task which you would like to turn into a recurring task, you can just open the task dialog and then select Repeat from the menu, instead of creating a new task template from scratch. A list of all automations you've created can be found in the project properties. If you want to make changes, you can always edit or delete your automations from here.